Hi, I'm Brent McCarthy. Welcome to SEMA 2025. I'm the product manager for carburetors and intake manifolds. And what I'm most proud of coming to this show is our new VRS carburetor. Now, earlier this year, we introduced the VRS 950 CFM. And this is even a special version of that. It's a 950 suited for E85 fuel. And now remember, E85 fuel, you need 30% more of it than you do gasoline. So it's not just a matter of, you know, jets and uh, emulsions and things like that. We actually have special metering blocks just for this. Not only that, then we've got our larger bowls that you've seen before on our other carburetors, but that's a good advantage to have with E85. And they're baffled and they've got the mustache and they've got all these things that you really need. Like if you're going to go dirt racing or drag racing, uh, it's got jet extenders in the back for drag racers. And it's just a, uh, kind of like our ultimate being a 950, but now an E85. And of course, you know, we've got all the, the rubber uh, fittings or anything like that. The gaskets are all suited for E85 fuel. Our floats are nitro filled. They're ready for E85. So yes, this is the carburetor you want. And E85 is going to be great for you. High octane, cheap to buy. So again, we're excited about this. Another new product we have in our VRS line is the calibration kit. So this is for the gas carburetors. It's over 130 pieces. It's got the four window power valves. It's got some uh, Excel pump nozzles, main jets. So you can take care of your main fueling right there. If you need to make adjustments, quick adjustments to the carburetor. Remember the VRS has the bleeds for every fuel circuit up here. And in our calibration kit, we give you plenty of these bleeds so you can make those quick changes. And we've also got the small discharge jets so you can adjust not only your cruise but how much fuel comes in once you come off a of fuel uh, cruise and adjust your idle discharge so everything's in there it's ready to go and now you can really work on your vrs carburetor all right now we're over here by some intake manifolds and i want to show you our new pontiac victor jr now this was a collaboration with butler performance so we've got a lot of good background information helped us with designing the runners, what sizes they needed to be. And the key for this was we have a Victor manifold for the same application that runs great, but it's about this tall. And we have a performer RPM that is absolutely this tall and that fits with shaker hoods and other most applications. So the, the, the problem or the goal of the project was to take the Victor size and squish it down to a Victor Junior package so the victor running the victor performance now in a smaller package so this thing has runners that are sized to work up to 700 horse well we're testing at 700 horsepower we don't know where the limit is yet uh but 700 horsepower in kind of an rpm level package hood height wise so it's it's the latest thing we did use a new technology that we have at our foundry on this and that's 3d printing so printing with the 3D process, as we've done here with this Pontiac manifold, allowed us to accelerate the development program. And we could actually test different parts in an aluminum casting on the engine and really get the best results and the best results for you. Okay, guys, one last thing I really wanted you to see, and that's that we have an EFI version of that Victor Jr. manifold. And so we have a, the new manifold that you saw before that we talked about, but now machined for EFI with a new fuel, EFI fuel rail kit for Pontiac. It's kind of a low profile uh, fuel rail, and I can't wait to see this on people's cars.